So we're going to go to Marlon. Uh, and Marlon is from the Philippines, and he wants to talk about uh, a prayer that's been answered. Uh, he says he has proof of it in form of a video. Not sure that we're going to be able to see the video, but maybe we can have him elaborate on the incident and why he thinks God is responsible for the prayer being answered. Absolutely. I, I've uh, yeah. I've heard Marlon call in before, so I'm excited to hear what you have to say, Marlon. Go ahead. Hello, guys. How are you? Doing good. Doing, doing well. Doing better. <laughs> are you feeling blessed, atheist? Uh, no, I'm not. We, we, we can move on to the what you have to call about. Well, I am because I have a lot of my answered prayers come in the form of blessings all the time based okay. on commitment. Awesome. Okay, so you have a claim. Yes. The claim, the claim is that prayers are answered. Okay, can you present an example? Yes, yes. Last night... I have prayed for financial assistance for my family and me to get by this week and before going to bed. I also have this habit of recording myself before sleeping as a photographer and a videographer mm -hmm. by my so house. You, you regularly videotape yourself sleeping? Yes, I got interested a bit from watching vlogs on YouTube and Twitch, you know, by uh -huh. watching video streams. Like, I want to get in on it. Oh, okay. hey, Marlon. And then... So if you videotape yourself regularly, did you happen to catch the can of Mountain Dew materializing on from your last call? I, re I remember you had, a, <laughs> you had a dream that you were thirsty and you found a can of Mountain Dew. Did you get that on video? No, not that. But oh. I had the one where my breakfast food multiplied on the spot. No. Okay, so I'm a blogger and I post it on Facebook. Okay, so so help me help me out here, Marlon. You went to sleep. You had financial issues. Okay, presumably something came and access yes. to you that solved those that problems. I, I woke up. I woke up one night and see this thick mist around my room coming from outside the window. And then right right after that, the entire place started shaking. Like there was an earthquake. I could feel my bed rattle, rattling back, back and forth. So I ran out of the room and then have myself grab onto one of these support beams and wait for the earthquake to stop. Okay. Like a really strong quake. And then when I came back inside my bedroom to fix up everything, I noticed under my bed there was a 1,000 peso bill. Light okay. blue 1,000 peso bill. And that is when I realized that my prayers have been answered when mm. I saw it pop up right then and there. Because the pillow is gonna be moved. It has been moved. The bed the bed sheets have been trashed around, you know? Everything was yeah. a mess. And when I came back I mean room, Marlon, things things move during earthquakes. You know, like if I had a nickel for every time I've reached into my uh, in a jacket that I haven't worn in a little while and found a $20 bill or, you know, a $5 bill or reached into my wallet and found, you know, a fiver that I didn't know was there, uh, you know, I'd be that yeah. happens all the time. There's no reason to posit that that a God did it for you, you know, and um the, the other but thing the that gets me yeah, is... But the money has been materialized out of thin air from the outside because I have uh -huh. a video evidence on it. 
I can show you guys on Discord or you can send me a link to email it or I can show it to everyone. I so, understand you have a community, atheist community of Austin, Discord group, Discord chat. I can post I, it on there right after. Yeah, hey, Marlon, uh, I think our audience would be very interested to see this um this video for sure that would be really cool um without having seen the video or seen the the evidence for myself it's gonna be <clears throat> it's gonna be tough to uh you know to say either yay or nay but i think we have to consider what's a more likely explanation right like in the middle of an earthquake, things are shaking around, things are moving around, your bed sheets are getting thrashed up, and somehow a thousand peso note that you had previously and forgot about or lost became dislodged. First you know, is it more likely that that happened? Or is it more like... Marlon, Marlon, let me finish. Right. So what's, what's, what's more likely, though, that you just lost a dollar, you just lost some money and found it again? Or that the omnipotent god of the universe decided to throw you a thousand pesos, and and if so, if if God came down and decided to cut you a break, why didn't he give you more, man? Well, I think I'd give you enough to buy a new car or something. I, you know, I, I I win those scratch tickets all the time when I play outside. I don't. People are people don't understand why. They, they just throw, throw their money away when playing these small games, but I always get get it right. I always have a price whenever I play the scratch tickets. People, okay. People have seen it. People yeah. have seen it. I've, I've won money on scratch tickets before too, Marlon, but I don't think that God made me win. Every time. Like you're, you're, so what, your claim is that every single time you buy a scratch ticket, you win money? Yes. I always get the combination, no, ma no matter what. But there's, so there's if, if that's the case, then why are you hard up for money? Why do you need God to throw you a thousand peso note if, if you have this magic ability to pick winning scratch tickets? I don't understand. And that's his blessing to me. That's his blessing to me. What you're calling magic right now is his blessing to me. He is giving me something. He gives are we, are me we, every day. Are we doing story, we're doing story time with Marlon again this week. Yeah, yeah, we're doing story time with Marlon. But I, I don't like if yeah. I had a, a magical God given ability to pick winning lottery tickets, I would not be petitioning that God for extra money. <laughs> I wouldn't need it. This is actually so, super cool. This is the first I time I've heard. This is the, the first Bible time I've heard Marlon make a claim that we could we could easily test. This right? would be super easy for us to test, Marlon. You could make a video of you going to the store, buying a bunch of lotto tickets. Say buy ten of them, and ten out of ten, if you hit those, I'll be a believer immediately. That's I won't understand why you you won. I won't I won't know that it's like God is involved or something. But I'll know there's something there for us to start investigating, which would be a big step up from where we've been with you historically. And Marlon, I, I will fly to the Philippines and take you to the store. Actually, even better, I will fly you to Canada and so that you can come with me to the store and pick out the uh, the winning numbers for the Lotto Max because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sick of working. So I Marlon would, can just I, buy the ticket because he knows he'll hit the Lotto tickets to cover the, the flight. So... There's no yeah. There. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'll pick, I'll pick the numbers for you. Yeah. Yeah, Marlon, if I tell you what, let's do an experiment. You give me seven numbers between one and 50. I will go buy the lottery ticket with those seven numbers and we'll see if I win. I am so down for this. The scratch tickets. Marlon, it only works for scratch tickets? Numbers. Marlon, I've noticed a pattern when you call in. That you, you, 
Marlon, I mean, I've noticed when you call in, there's the, reliably that uh, you make a lot of claims that we can't really examine or test, you know, given the format of the show. You know, you could call in and tell us that you can, you know, fly around the room like a bird. And I mean, how are we supposed to how are we supposed to examine whether or not that claim is, is true or not? I mean, what, what do you expect us to do with this kind of information when you call in and tell us something like you always hit the lottery? I never said I could fly around, you know. I well, no, I know, but but pay attention to what I'm I'm telling you. You you make an awful lot of claims uh, that we can't we can't really examine here on the show. So it you know you call in and you tell these these outlandish stories. Um, why would you expect anybody to believe them? We we can't engage with these claims at all. That's that's why the lotto thing is interesting because because you could go down to the store today. You can make a, a video of you buying the lotto tickets upload that video, email it to us at the ACA. We'll, we'll put it on our channel. I've never Hell yeah. Seen yeah. a carnival game ever. What'd you just say? I was a kid. I never lost any kind of carnival game. Oh, so we're just, now we're just making more claims. Okay. This isn't, this isn't useful, Marlon. If you're, uh, if you're just going to keep saying stuff. Blessing. If you're just going to keep making claims, but but not discuss how we can examine those claims, how we can know they're true, whether or not anyone should believe you. I mean, the show's talk heathen. The show's not story time with Marlon, you know? Yeah, and I'd, I'd like an answer for for my question for you, Marlon. Like, if, if you can pick winning scratch tickets, why do you need to petition God for extra money? It seems It seems to me he's already given you a pretty cool magic ability yeah why are you why are you hard up for for a thousand pesos if you can pick winning scratch tickets god is a father not a that, does, that doesn't answer my question are I, you gonna answer nate's question marlon or are we gonna move on What's your question? How can a person with the magical ability to pick winning scratch tickets be hard up for money? Because at the beginning of the call, you said you were you were praying to God for financial relief to get through the week. And I've also heard you call in before and say that you were very hungry and didn't have enough to eat, and then your your rice magically multiplies. Like what? How how are you so hard up for money if you can magically pick winning lottery tickets, Marlon? It's, it's my struggle. It's my struggle. You have to understand the economy is not doing very well right now here. Yeah, but the economy has nothing to do with whether or not you can walk your ass down to the store and have a winning lottery ticket every single time. Yeah. The economy could suck and you could be balling out of control. Yeah. I'd have some solid gold tennis shoes if I were you. Happen. I would not be alive right now if that food miracle didn't happen. You're, you're, okay. okay. <laughs> it's like to start the death. We're going to try this exactly one more time, Marlon. All right. If you have the ability mm -hmm. to go and get a scratch off lottery ticket and win every single time, how is it the case that you are struggling financially? Well, I guess that fault is on my part because I'm a pretty big spender and I don't manage. <laughs> that I can't. Part. I can't. All right, Marlon. Well, listen, you, make, you, go to, you go to the store, you make that video. You, Marlon, go to the store, make that video, that video of you doing the scratch off I thing. That video. And when you post that video, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, I want to see All that right. video too, Marlon. I, I want to see it, but uh, in the I think meantime, have a have a good one. <laughs> I think we gotta move on, Kenneth. <laughs> yeah. Good old oh Marlon. boy. Um, people may have noticed that uh, uh, I I'm not J Mike. Um, so yeah, J Mike was having some tech issues, so I uh, came out of the the tunnel like Hulk Hogan and tagged in uh, for now. Um, I believe me, no one's more disappointed than me because I love watching J Mike on the show. 
Um, but uh, yeah, you know what it was? I prayed not to be left alone on Talk Heathen on my first ever appearance, and Kenneth materialized moments later. So, That's right, like a scratch off lottery ticket. Uh, yeah, yeah I, you know, here I am. <laughs> 